Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I am back with the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween series. Today I'm on number three. And if you guys remember, I think it was last year, maybe it was the year before I made a cauldron, witch's cauldron treat box. And I really love a witch's cauldron for Halloween. I think it's, it's kind of cute. And I was trying to figure out what could I do what kind of project could I do with a witch's cauldron again? So I can't wait to show you guys. I've been making a ton of these since I figured it out. But this is what we're going to make today. Looks like a witch's cauldron. And when you take your clip off and flip it up, it's a gift card holder. Now, I know there's not much of a demand for gift card holders like there is for Halloween like there is for birthdays and Christmas and things like that but sometimes I like to give a five dollar gift card to like Dunkin or Starbucks usually Dunkin Donuts to my co-workers and I say here you go have a coffee and a donut treat on me happy Halloween or you can put Dollar Tree gift cards in here um, any kind of gift card you want really and give them to your for swaps and uh, happy mail I mean who doesn't like a five dollar coffee card in a donut you know so I figured uh, I'm definitely gonna make these I know I made a bunch of them for co-workers and for gifts to add in my happy mail and stuff so I just wanted to show you the embellishment clip that I made these are very similar to the clips we made for our last embellishment series if you remember these guys okay but instead of using two cardstock um, papers I just ended up using three different sizes so I got made this little guy and this little guy here brew up some fun the mouse and the pumpkin. I used all Dollar Tree stickers. I love to use those stickers up. I love this one with the witch's hat. And this guy's my favorite, but I only had one of him. The black cat with the pumpkin. And I wanted to show you, this is what it looks like if you do not em emboss the black cardstock. And this is what it looks like when you do. And for this embossing here I just use my spider web embossing folder and then for the scallop circles for the bubbles I use the flourish swirly one from Cuddlebug and then again for those embellishments I use this style die and I use three different sizes for the cauldron circles I used my largest stitch die I'll give you guys all the measurements and then these are my scallop dies I used for the bubbles up here okay so let me put the materials aside that I used and let's get started I just wanted you to be able to see the difference between you know you don't have to emboss them and, and what the difference is how they look so, I like them both. Alright, let me get out the one I had my gift card in. I didn't even have a gift card. It was my Sally's card. But, I didn't have a, uh, another card laying around that I could show you. So, I'm just going to stick that there for now. And get out the supplies we need. These are um, fantastic to do for your craft shows, too. Okay, we're going to start off with, we're going to make the gift card belly band first. So for the belly band, you're going to need a piece of black cardstock that measures four and a quarter inches long by one inch. And then the white piece that I put on top here, right in here. Okay. That piece measures three and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. And then on each corner, 
I took my circle punch and I put the corner in and I lined it up at the top. I'm going to try and hold it close so you can see. Just put that little corner in oh, and punched it off. So it kind of gives you like that half moon shape. You're going to do that to all four corners. Line the tip in, just go down a little bit, take that right off there. Okay, we're going to add this to our belly band right away. So it's out of our way. And the stamp set I used for the sentiment, a gift for you, and then the to and from, that actually came from this stamp set here. It's the Christmas Jar Filler Stamp Set from Paper Tray Ink. In case you're interested where I got it. Okay, so we already have that glued. We're going to set that aside. We're going to work on our Cauldron Bubble Scallops. Okay. My green scallop here measures two and a half inches approximately. And all you're going to need to do is go in between two scallops in the center and cut it right in half. And you're going to set those aside. And I usually just try to eyeball as best I can. This one's a little trickier. So you're going to want to find your center, which is right here and then the scallop on the right and the left of the center. You want to put your finger on that and your thumb because you're not going to cut that. You're going to cut right in between here and straight up. And that's going to give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine scallop loops, okay? Then just flip it around, same two, finger, thumb, cut straight up. So basically what you're going to have left is two scallops from each one. Now you don't have to throw this away, I'm going to try and figure out an embellishment to do with these and I'll be back to share that with you as well. So like I said, you should have nine scallop bumps on this side and nine on that side. And then all you're going to do, if you embossed it, you want to, the bumpy part up here is where you want to add your glue on the bumpy part. Okay, and you're going to glue that to the back. This is the nice embossed part. This is the flat part. You're going to glue that to the back of this. You pretty much leave one whole row scallop up there and flip it around and that way the little green sticks out on the edge there. You're going to do the same thing to this one. On the side that's nice and bumpy with your embossing you add your glue. You turn this one around to the flat side and glue it on. Okay so you'll have a nice amount of green sticking out from both of those. So now that you have those done, you want to set all of that aside. And you're going to need two large black circles that measure four and a half inches around. I've already run mine through my embossing folder. I'm going to get out my cutter. You're going to take one of your circles and you're going to line it up in your cutter at the three and a half inch mark. So line it up to three and a half. And cut. Don't throw this piece out. This is going to be the base for our cauldron. You can set that aside. Get out your scoreboard 
and you're going to take that same circle that you cut and you're going to line this up on your scoreboard flat against it. Get out your bone folder and you are going to score that at three inches. Okay, so this is my nice embossed side. This is the flat side. This is actually going to be the inside of your, your gift card holder. So you're going to take this flap and you're going to fold it up towards and then fold it back. And you're going to set this aside. And you're going to take your other circle. You're going to line it up in your scoreboard and you're going to score that one at three and three quarters inches. So three and three quarter score. This is the nice embossed side. This is going to be the inside of your gift card. You're going to fold the flap towards the inside and you want to take your bone folder and right along that edge there, you want to run it along because you want to make sure when your flap is down, it's nice and flat and not poking out on you that way. Okay? Put your scoreboard away. Now, we're going to take this flap on this piece and we're actually going to glue it down to here. So just keep it closed and line up your circles. Now this is important. You want to make sure this edge of your cut circle lines up with the emboss or the um, scored line when you put these together. Okay, make sure it's nice and straight. This line is lined up with your score line because this is how it's gonna open once we adhere it. And if you don't line it up, it'll be wonky and open sideways. Okay, so you wanna line that up. Take your time doing this, this is important. And then I kinda hold it together and just flip this bottom piece up, add my glue to that, flap, fold it back down, and press. Okay, so then your gift card's gonna open. Just like that and then this flap's going to come down over it okay so before we go any further I'm going to open this back up and you're going to take your belly band and the bottom corners of your belly band you want to line up with the edges of your cauldron when you glue it I put about a quarter of an inch of glue on this side and a quarter inch on this side you really don't want to go any more than that but you want to make sure it stays nice and secure. If you go any further into it, it's not you're not going to be able to fit your gift card in. So line this bottom corner up with the edge of your circle and this one as well. Try and get it nice and straight. And then I run my bone folder over the edges there to make sure it's really nice and adhered down. Let me get my rag. wipe off the excess glue. Okay, so now we have our belly band. We're going to take that piece that we cut off earlier and you're basically going to glue it behind the cauldron to make the bottom of your cauldron. So I pretty much just add some glue to the top and in the center here And then I line it up in the back and try to get it even on both sides. Okay, so it should look like that. And then on the back, it should look like that. I'm just going to run my bone folder over it a little bit. Not too hard, I don't want to push out all my nice embossing. 
Okay, so that's what we have so far. This top flap here, you're going to want to fold down and we're going to glue on our bubbles. So this scallop circle here, you want it to hang off of your cauldron completely. This one here, you want to aim halfway hanging off. This here, you want to glue and line it up with this edge up here. So I have my flap down. I'm going to add glue along the top of the rim and all over that flap. Okay, remember, hang this one off, this one halfway. Line it up with the top. Okay, see how this bubble is halfway out? This one's completely off. We're all lined up straight across the top here and press down. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue in here because this is going to overlap it. This one hangs off. This one is halfway. This piece is lined up with the top. And then you can open up your flap and push that down really well. Okay, and then you're going to get your scissors. And between these two scallops, you're going to go in with your scissor. I'll get a little closer here. You're going to cut this scallop off and round it up towards the top. So that way you have a nice rounded edge and you should only have a piece that kind of looks like a little teardrop. Flip your cauldron, line up in the center, trim that scallop off, and round it up towards the top. Okay, and that gives you that nice little rounded edge on both sides. And then all we have left is our handle. For the handle piece, I measured six inches long by one just quarter of an inch wide. From the edge I go about three quarters of an inch up and add glue. I'm going to glue it to the back here and I'll flip it and show you. Kind of at an angle. Okay, flip it back around and right here on the front I'm going to add another three quarters of an inch long piece of glue and I'm just going to take my handle, try and show you, and bend it. You kind of twist and glue it to the back. Okay, so I'll show you from this side. This is the back, the glue is on the other side. You're going to twist and glue it down. And that's our handle. That's our gift card. I think this is dried enough that I can slide my gift card in there nice and easy. Close it back up and then let me find my, my little witch's hat here. And I'm just gonna, it, it stays pretty nice but the flap kind of sticks up a little so that's why I thought all those cute embellishments we just made, it would be perfect to hold these closed. So, I hope you guys enjoy making yours. If you try it, let me know. I'd love to come over and see how yours turned out. And I hope you have fun making yours. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.